Hi everyone, it's Adam Torrens here from the EdTech Coaches. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a boring keynote into a more exciting interactive quiz. So to start, I'll go into Keynote, create a presentation, and I'm just going to choose a simple white background. So double tap to give it a title. I'm going to just simply call it My Quiz. And then the information down the bottom, I'm going to write the word Enter. Now I need to add five or four blank slides to make five slides, and that way I can set it up for a, uh, a question. Now once it's set up, the first thing I need to do is turn it from a normal presentation that's linear to a more interactive presentation. So I click on the three dots. If you don't have the three dots at the top, you may see a spanner and you'll have this information. I go down to presentation type. So you can see there it's naturally set to a normal presentation. I want to go to links only. So now if I push play and enter my presentation, it won't let me go to any slide because I don't have links. So I've set it so if I tap a link, it will only change. So I've got five slides on the side. The first one is my title. My fifth one is going to be my second question. So I have three slides here for my first question. So my question is going to be a math type question. So my question I'm going to say is, what is six times four? With a question mark. So I move that up to the top and I want two different options. I can have more than two options, but my options today will be 12 and my second option will be 24. So I have a correct answer and an incorrect answer. Now my third slide, I'm going to have the answer no. And below no, I want to have try again and that way people using my quiz will have another turn at the question. Try again. Then I also need a slide for my yes answer. So I can say yes or correct depending on the age level of the students. And this is going to be a link to my next question. So now each question has three slides, the question, an incorrect response and a correct response. So now I need to turn this quiz into, or this presentation I should say, into a quiz. So what I need to do is go to the three dots again, and this time I click on interactive links. If you have the spanner, you'll go to presentation tools and then interactive links. So my interactive links turns my keynote into a new menu. So I can't change or move anything now, I simply tap to create a link. So my first slide, my enter button. As soon as I tap, this menu comes up and I want to link to slide two. Then when I get to slide two, I have my incorrect response, which will go to my incorrect, slide three. And then 24, which is the correct response, goes to slide four. My third slide, my try again, will make me go back to slide two for another turn. And slide four will make me go to slide Next question to slide five to go to question two. Now that I've pushed done, I can simply go through and test that out. So play, I can go enter. What is six times four? Is it 12? No, try again. Is it 24? Yes, next question. So try it out yourself. Every time you make a new question, you do need three slides because if you go back to my no, try again, it will send you back to the first question. So have some fun with it, try with animation, try with uh, different fonts, different colors. I've done this with students as young as five for kindergarten two, all the way up until middle school. So thank you for listening.